Greetings, welcome back to the Man Cave for another episode of Man Cave Meals. This weekend we're going to do a cook from a cookbook. This is uh, Adam Perry Lang's Serious Barbecue. It's a really interesting book. It's been out of print for a while and it's recently been re-released. And I'm real happy about that because this is one I've been wanting to get, but the uh, prices people were getting for these things on eBay and elsewhere were really through the roof. That kind of goes to show how popular this book is. There's a lot of really outstanding techniques and flavor combination ideas in this book. I highly recommend it and a group of us on KamadoGuru.com are working through this cookbook. We've started a special forum section just for this cookbook and we're going to cook you know, uh, one or two recipes from this book every month as a group effort and post our results. And this weekend uh, I'm doing our September, one of our September recipe choices, which is pork tenderloins glazed with peach preserves and rosemary. So let's get this thing started. We're going to make a brine and uh, brine this pork tenderloin overnight. So let's have a look at that. Okay, folks, we're going to get started with our brine here. And since this is a published recipe, it's not my original. I'm not going to give you the exact recipe as we go. I'm just going to talk about the ingredients. But if you'll check my video description, I will give you a link to the video on Mr. Lang's website. So the first thing I've got here is some dried pepper flakes. And I'm going to put a little bit of boiling water in on top of those to, to rehydrate them. And uh, we're going to let those sit for just a couple of minutes while we get the rest of our uh, brine ingredients together. Okay, in my mixing bowl here, I'm going to dump these red pepper flakes in. And we're going to add some water as well. And I'm going to make sure I get all those red pepper flakes. And then the next thing we're going to add is some peach nectar. And I found this Jumex brand at the grocery store. And also, I'm only making about half of the recipe as it's described in the book. Next thing is some kosher salt. Then some packed brown sugar. And some garlic that I have minced on my microplane grater. And then we're going to have some freshly ground black pepper. And we're going to stir that up. And then we're going to let it sit for a while and let these flavors marinate and make sure we get all that salt dissolved in there. And once that's done, we'll come back and have a look at the tenderloin. Okay, I've got a pork tenderloin here that weighs a little over two pounds. And I am going to transfer it into my Ziploc bag. And let me get rid of that tray. And then let me wipe my hands off. And the next thing we're going to do is pour our brine in over the top of the tenderloin in the bag. Just going to pour it all in there. And try not to make a mess. I'm bad about making messes, as most of you know already. So we're going to try to avoid that here today. Okay. Now we're going to get most of the air out of this bag and seal it up. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate. The recipe calls for 4 to 12 hours and I'm actually going to be uh, a lot closer to the 12 hour side of this since I'm not cooking until dinner tomorrow. It may even go longer. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator. That's going to marinate overnight and I'll see you tomorrow when we get ready to cook. Okay, we brined overnight, so it's time to get uh, started on this cook. The first thing we're going to do is make our seasoning blend, which is going to start out with some chili powder, some ground mustard, some brown sugar, some garlic salt, that is garlic salt and not garlic powder, some fresh ground black pepper, and some cayenne pepper and what we're going to do is we're just going to mix all that up and get our brown sugar broken up and then I'm going to put this in one of my shakers that we're going to use to uh, 
season this tenderloin before we go to the grill. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put our glaze together and we're going to start out with some peach preserves and then we're going to follow that with some fresh squeezed lemon juice, some freshly minced garlic, some apple cider vinegar, some fresh ground black pepper, and some fresh thyme leaves, a little canola oil, and some melted butter. And we're going to give this a good mix and we'll use this to glaze with and we're going to be going to the grill here momentarily. Okay, I've got my tenderloin out of the marinade, so we're going to shake on a nice liberal coat of the seasoning blend we just made. And I'm just going to kind of pat that in, flip it back over, pat that in again, and then we're going to put a little bit of canola oil on this and just rub it in a very light coat of canola and just for good practice I'm going to hit hit, a little, hit it with a little bit more of that spice. I've got the grill warmed up so we will resume at the grill. Okay I've got the Big Joe set up here for some indirect cooking and we're going to take this tenderloin set it right on the hot grate and we're going to turn it after it chars a little bit I'm just going to keep moving it after we flip it there we're going to baste it with a little butter flip her back over. Base this other side with a little butter. The next thing we're going to do here is take our tenderloin and roll it in our glaze. We'll roll it around, get it good and coated with some of that peach and rosemary glaze that we made. I'm going to leave this pan with the glaze in it on the cool side of the grill. I'm going to take this back and give it a little more time over the heat. And we're going to continue turning it. And back to the glaze. and then back to the fire. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna take it off, put it back on the cool side of the grill, and I'm gonna let it finish right there. Okay, folks, here it is, we're done. I'm gonna cut into this guy. We're going to kind of slice in at a diagonal here, make some fairly thick cuts on these. Man, this smells outstanding. I wish you could smell it. And this is just tender. 
Oh man, look at that. I'm going to cut me a little taster piece right off the end here and see what we've got. Mm. Wow. Folks, that's delicious. So, I guess I need to go feed the family. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.